shine bright like a diamond. So now I'm singing like, girl, you know I want your love Your love was handmade for somebody like me I'm coming now, follow my lead I may be crazy, don't mind me Say, boy, let's not talk too much Grab on my waist and put that body on me I'm coming now Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and my name's Megan Today I am doing a Valentine's Day look for you And I love how it came out <laughs> If you have been here before, I'm so sorry I haven't posted in a week because um, I went ahead and this is not my first Valentine's Day tutorial. I did a Fifty Shades of Grey one. Here's proof. I did a Fifty Shades Darker tutorial and it failed miserably. I didn't like how it came out and I just, I imagined so much more in my, I just imagined more in my head with the editing and everything but I'm just not to that level yet. I'm still new at this whole YouTube thing, but it's okay. A good picture came out of it. Um, I'll post that here. And if you want to see more pictures like that, go ahead and follow my Instagram and my Snapchat. I'll put that all in the description box below. Anyway, so if you guys enjoy looking at these eyes, then go ahead and keep on watching. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button because it would really help me out and you know you want to keep seeing more of me. I mean, I hope you do. Anyway, have a great day. I don't really have a look planned out today. I'm just going with it. All I know is that it's gonna include glitter. If you don't like glitter, then you probably shouldn't watch this video. So I actually live in New England and it's disgusting out and the heat is on blast so my skin is super 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 dry so before I did anything I went in with my Neutrogena oil free moisturizer and I also use the Estee Edit light night eraser which usually I just use it in the morning or before bed but I really wanted to get really um, moisturize my eye area before I went into using the glitter adhesive. So definitely make sure that you moisturize your eye area. I'm gonna stick with the hydration because you can never have too much and I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier hydrating primer. And then I'm gonna take my Benefit Professional and I'm going to put that on the area where I have the biggest pores. I'm gonna go in with my NYX Micro Brow Pencil and I think this is a brunette. Mm, yeah. Now I'm going to go in and just kind of like a rough draft outline of what I want to do. I'm going to go with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, Pomade, and Chocolate. I'm gonna take my concealer. I'm just gonna use the LA Girl um, Pro Conceal. I love using this to clean up my brows because it's just so um, kind of watery. It won't dry out my brow area. You don't gotta be scared to come in. Thanks, is it good? Homemade shamrock shake. Can you see it? They even put sprinkles in. <clears throat> I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. This is clear. And this is just so all my brow hairs stay in place. Hers? Brow hers. 
I have very long brow hairs, so this is very necessary. I'm just wetting my beauty blender with my MAC Prep and Prime because I'm too lazy to go and run it under the faucet. I'm going to keep being extremely hydrated and I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation. This is... This is the one that's... There's the matte one that everyone raves about. This is for normal to dry skin. And I hear a lot of people don't like this one a lot. Not as much as the other one. Everyone raves about the other one. But I love this one. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna prime my eyes. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Maybelline Master Conceal, like always. I'm gonna set the concealer on my eyes with the shade Hear Me Out by ColourPop. I'm enjoying these um, ColourPop single shadows, press powders, press shadows, for God's sakes, get yourself together. Okay, I'm gonna go in with ColourPop's Paper Tiger. And on a fluffy brush, I'm going to put this into my crease, but I'm also going to Buff it up a smidgy. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go on with the shade crisscross. This is also by Colourpop and I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush. I'm going to tap it on my outer lid. So I'm going to also bring this color, tap off most of the excess, and I'm going to put it in my inner corner of my lid. I'm gonna go back with my crease, the brush I use for my crease, and I'm just gonna touch it up a bit. I'm gonna take a flat eyeshadow brush and the shade Stay Golden. This is also by ColourPop. I'm going to put that over the spots where we just put the shade Crisscross. Now on a clean fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend that out. I feel like I'm so quiet and boring this video today, but it's 6.40 at night. I think I'm going to take my Modern Renaissance palette and we're going to take the shade Blonde Fresco. I think that's how you say it. I'm going to put that in the center of my lid. I'm going to go on with that first shade we used in the crease. I'm just going to go over it for the millionth time. And I'm going to go back in with the Stay Gold and touch up the edges.
Right, before I move on with anything, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do my concealer and my contour. So I'm gonna take my Naked Urban Decay Concealer and I'm going to apply it quickly on my under eye. I always have a problem with this concealer. I have to apply it so quick. Gonna contour. I'm going to use LA Pro Conceal, the shade Beautiful Bronze. It's actually reacting bad with my skin right here. It's because I'm sitting here talking and I let it sit for too long so it really sunk in. I'm gonna go in from my shade in light contour palette from Kat Von D. I'm going to take the coolest shade, Sombre. No, I'm serious. It's so bad. And it sunk there because my skin is dry. I wasn't fucking kidding around. Oh my god. I'm going to go with my Pro Conceal. And I'm going to sharpen up that contour. go ahead and go in some powder, RCMA powder to be exact, translucent powder any kind will do. I'm going to leave the translucent powder on my chin area. I am going to wipe. Go back in with that cool shade in my Kat Von D palette. I'm gonna go in with the first color we have used, Paper Tiger. I'm going to put that on my outer. I'm actually gonna put this all over my bottom, right below my waterline. I'm gonna go in with Stay Golden. I'm literally so invested in doing makeup, like it's artwork, so like I totally lose my train of thought every time. I'm going to take the glitter that we were using, I'm going to put that in the center of my lower. Um, right below my waterline, but just in the center. I'm gonna put a couple of those sparkles. I'm just gonna clean that up. I'm gonna stick with ColourPop. I'm gonna use their Lunch Money Super Shock Cheek. This is from their highlighter collection. I'm 
And I'm gonna go in with my Model Co. blush. This is the Peach Bellini, which I use, it's actually my go-to blush right now. I'm gonna go back in with the ColourPop highlighter. The formula is very creamy, so that's why I use my finger. Just take some black, black um, eyeshadow. This isn't a certain shade. I actually depotted it from the from the Kathleen Lights palette. I'm going to smudge it on my liner, on my lash line, instead of using the liner. I'm going to take my mascara. This is the NYX Fly With Me mascara. I'm going to go in with my um, House of Lashes. These are Siren. And then they look like this. They have a clear band. I think they're one of my only pairs with a clear band, so that's why I'm choosing them. Okay, so the deal is when I put this lash on last, I actually fell asleep. Fell I fell asleep with them on. So the edge lash is shifted this way and it won't go back and I thought that maybe it would just look okay if I just put it on my lid but I'm probably gonna have to get rid of it to be honest it's ruined I'm going to keep this in anyway it's not a big deal I'm not going anywhere I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier the pencil in the shade naked actually And now I'm going to go in with this Rimmel London, Rimmel London Clear Lip Balm. Looking very nude, very natural. And I like it and I think we're good. I think this is it to complete the look. My Valentine's Day look, which I would totally wear out in public by the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And let me know what kind of other tutorials you'd love to see. I have a couple lined up that I'm excited to do. And hopefully they come out as planned. My last one didn't. And then I didn't post for a week. So high hopes. High hopes. Anyway, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe. And subscribe if you'd like to see more. I really hope you like to see more. And if you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead and check out some of my other videos that I have posted. And yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. Bye.